I've got you. This is the alarming end to Millie's first ever no, night out, distressed and disorientated after she says she was drugged. I think it's probably one of the most disturbing things I've ever witnessed, literally, in my whole life. It was a shock for her mother and just as frightening for the teenager. I've never felt like that in my whole life. I've never, ever had a fit, like, my eyes go like that. I was so, so panicky. I said to the nurse, what... What's going on? What, what have they given her? And they didn't know. They just said, we, we see this a lot. A disturbing thought for anyone at 18. Millie and her friends had been dancing the night away. She'd taken a couple of sips from a drink offered to her by someone she'd been chatting to, but almost immediately began to violently vomit and shake uncontrollably. Her first night out will be her last for a while. I would love to go out again, but it's like you're... My anxiety is like, no, just don't, don't, because you can end up in that again. But then it is worrying, very worrying. I, don't, I, I wish it just didn't happen, because now every time someone invites me out, I'm like, mm. I, I, no, I'm OK, I, I, I don't really want to. Her mum, Claire, is just as traumatised. Absolutely destroying it. It's, I feel anxious every time she leaves the house, it's... I just feel genuinely unwell. I, I went into work Monday, broke down, and I had to come home. I just couldn't focus. The family lay no blame with the nightclub. Millie is grateful she's safe, but the what-if questions linger. What if her friends hadn't have been there, and what if she hadn't have been taken to hospital? The venue are working with police who are investigating.